listen up. I know Get Work Trees can be scary. I too was intimidated by Get Work Trees, but they're actually a really valuable tool and it's a lot simpler to get started with than you think. The only commands you're really gonna need to know for Get Work Trees is Get Work Tree Add, Get Work Tree List, and Get Work Tree Remove. It's very similar behavior to managing branches. Similar to a main tree, Get Work Trees only allow you to have one branch checked out at a time. What's great about this is that if you're jumping around between a lot of different states for a single project, meaning PR review, open source contribution review, your own changes, main branch, keeping up with all of these branches and bouncing around all of these, you often end up relying on the git stash command and you end up with like a million things stacked in your git stash. Work trees can totally eliminate that. The nice thing too is that you don't need to have multiple copies of the same project on one machine. You can use git work tree and it'll create a new folder for you that will have that branch checked out. And whenever you go to check out that branch, it's gonna restrict you from doing so, stating that it's already checked out in one of the work trees. When you use the command git work tree add, it's gonna create a new linked work tree that's linked to your main work tree which is the original destination where you cloned the repo. Now, when you add this linked tree, you're gonna to need to do so from inside the main tree repo. And the path that you're providing is gonna be relative to the current working directory. So typically I'll have to go up a directory and then create a new work tree from there. Otherwise it's gonna be nested in that original folder. For example, if I'm in my Blossom project and I were to run git work tree add, I'm gonna go up a directory so that I don't have nested trees. If you're using the add command, you're also gonna to need to provide an existing branch name or you're gonna to have to provide the B flag to create a new branch for you as part of the work tree command. To manage your work trees or see what work trees you have available, you can use get work trees list. This will list all of the available work trees, where they're located and what branch they have checked out. And of course, if you decide that you no longer want one of the work trees to exist, you can use get work tree remove command and provide it with a path to the work tree. It really is that simple. Don't worry, you will not blow up git by trying to use the get work tree add command and checking out one of your branches that way. I highly recommend it. Let's jump into to different work trees that I use as part of my workflow. I'll use one clean branch that's usually got main or master checked out. And then I'll have my own little feature branch if I'm working on a new feature for that project. I'll have that checked out in its own Git work tree. And then I'll usually have a third work tree that's for PR review. And that one is nice because I can combine it with the GitHub CLI and check out any pull requests just by the PR number. It makes it really straightforward. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you think about this format. Just a gentle introduction to a new topic. This is something that I've been using really heavily in my own workflow and I'm sure that this will be game changing for a lot of you. I promise they're not scary and it will help you. So keep on coding in. I believe in you, okay? I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye.